question now before he comes up. The name of our speaker is John McAllister. He is a local dentist with two daughters in college. He likes to sail, swim, and be with his dogs. You noticed that he did bring his dog. <laughs> his his uh, speech title is My Most Embarrassing Moment. Mr. Timer, he's asking for seven to ten minutes. Please welcome John McAllister. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. Good evening. Good evening. My most embarrassing moment. My most embarrassing moment. Let's just say this represents my most embarrassing moment. And it's fear. We all have fears, but we're only born with two fears. All babies have a fear of two things. Loud noises. <laughs> the second fear is fear of heights. Because if you take a baby and you put them on a like a glass slab and you walk them across, they won't go across. So those are two fears that we actually innately have. All other fears are learned. <laughs> you know that I'm a dentist? Anybody not know that I'm a dentist? <laughs> So what do you do with fear? Mm. You usually try and get away from it, right? Yes? Okay. Who's afraid of the dentist? Anybody? Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> You're not supposed to be afraid of the dentist. We're nice guys. <laughs> but you, you, you try to stay away from us, yeah? And you won't even call us. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it take? to get over that fear. Well, in Toastmasters, we learned how to breathe. Where's our breather? Is he here? Hector. Hector, where are you? Oh, yeah. Hector. Well, if you use either like, have you heard of yoga or transcendental meditation? It's just working with your breathing. A deep breath. Hold it. And let it out. And relieve that stress. And the other one is working on getting closer to that fear that you have. Whatever that fear may be, you get close to it. Because one of the things I used to fear, and maybe still do, are snakes. So what did I do? I went out and bought an actual snake and wrapped it around my neck. Wow. So it's desensitization. Okay. And then one year I went to Cancun, and I, I was a pretty good swimmer. And I, I saw an island about 500 yards out, and I said, well, let's go see what's over there. And I got to the island, and right at, next to the island, there was about a dozen barracudas looking at me. Oh, and I, I said, oh, no. <laughs> so I got out of the, 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 uh, onto the island like that. And I, I was sitting up there, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? I gotta get back in the water because I'm 500 yards out. I said, okay, well, I'm just gonna dive in. I'm gonna swim really fast. I'm gonna get the heck out of there as fast as I can. I would have won the Olympic gold medal for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so the next year, I said, I can't let those barracudas, I can't be afraid of them. So the next year, I, I took a dive class. And then I, I went right up to that barracuda. Have you seen them? They got these teeth that look like that. And I went right up to that barracuda and I said, you don't have control over me. And so I got over that one. Then how many of you may be afraid of heights? We talked about that, yeah? Well, what did I do? I went skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> Which then brings us uh, to the lectern. To my most embarrassing moment. I was in high school, I was 14 years old, and the, the counselor said, hey, why don't you, you know, really, I only had like two electives, and I said, well, speech class, that's interesting. 
I'm sure the professor is going to stand in front of us and he's going to tell us how to speak. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> well, little did I know that, no, I had to stand in front of the lectern and I had to speak to my class. I was a freshman and there were seniors in the class, there were juniors, sophomores. I was a young kid. I was rather immature or really young. And they, they asked me to give a speech. So I stood in front of this lectern. <laughs> Worse than that, not only nothing came out, but I started to cry in front of my peers. So you know I'm a dentist. And I was asked to speak for a certain manufacturer in dentistry. They said, we want you to become an instructor for us. I said, oh, you don't realize I'm afraid to stand behind this thing. I said, what am I going to do? In comes Toastmasters. You see, I had to speak if I have to and still do speak in front of professors of universities, chairs of departments. Uh, my average uh, student is a specialist. I'm only a general dentist. And, I have, and they've been out 10 or 20 years. And I have to teach to Harvard grads all the time. And I have to speak. <laughs> so what did I do? I got closer to that fear by coming in and working with Toastmasters. I got two mentors in this. They're no, no longer with us. Different story. But what did it allow me to do? To overcome that fear and to become, and to be able to speak to you tonight. And to be able to speak to professors. To be able to speak to my profession. And that's what Toastmaster has done for me. So when you asked, how do I do what he told me to do? Well, you practice. You, you practice. Well, where can you practice? And this gives you the opportunity to get in front of people and do table topics, <clears throat> off the cuff speaking, or prepared speeches. So I've learned and been able to now become a speaker with my profession. And there's no, for me, there's no greater honor to be able to teach. And so if you are interested in Toastmasters, there's everybody here will invite you in. And please come on and join us for Toastmasters meeting. Mr. Toastmasters. <laughs>